Hello loves, it's Belinda Celine and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another DIY planner supply video for you guys which includes a lot of fun little things to decorate your planner with and customize it like do-it-yourself journaling cards, how to make different page markers like tassels and paper bow clips. Let's begin. The first thing that I want to share with you guys is how to make your own journaling cards and I feel like I have a hard time trying to track these down, especially some cute ones, so I decided to make my own. The first way to make with them are with scrapbook paper and we're going to head on over to our computer where I'm going to share with you guys how simple it is to put these together. The first thing you want to do is open up a Word document and we're going to change the orientation of the page into landscape so it's easier for us to fit our tables on there. So head on over to a table and click to a size that is 3 by 2. We are going to highlight the table and scroll down to table properties. And then you're going to go to the bottom right hand section of that table and you're going to click on the options button. And you want to unclick the automatically resize to fit contents button just because you don't want the pictures to stretch out when you're applying your images or word on there. Then you're going to click on row and click specify height to 4 inches and we're going to change that to exactly 4 inches. Then you're going to click on the column button and we're going to change that to 3 inches and you're done. Once you are done with that you want to make sure sure that you are adjusting the margins on your paper so that the tables don't split up and it's all in one sheet. Then you're going to click on the text box and you can add whatever you'd like. You can look up different quotes if you'd like. You can change it to different fonts and also the color of the font or the, the size of the font, whichever you'd like and you could also add images as well. You could easily just drag and drop the images to insert them in there as well. I suggest doing something that's black and white for scrapbook paper. Now mine measured 12 by 12 so I just cut it down so that it fit inside of my printer and then I just simply press print and they should come out. The perfect size of 3 by 4 which is what most journaling cards measure, well actually all of them measure that way, um, that are small. And then we're just simply going to cut it out and one thing that I like to do is round my corners. You can use one of these punchers. I found my at Joann's but you can also find ones that are not with the board on the bottom. Now I'm going to share with you guys how I customize these from journaling cards that I already had and I bought. I just thought that they were very simple and plain and they had really pretty color and the thing that I like about them is that I'm not going to waste too much ink because I already have a background to it. So I'm going to print out the template that I just showed you guys but without anything written on there or any quotes or pictures and then I'm going to go ahead and use double sided tape to add my very own journaling cards with like a blank canvas that it has just so that you can go ahead and print on there. Now I'm going to head on over to Pinterest and I'm going to grab some images off of there and then I'm going to simply drag and drop them from my saved files onto the cards. Now depending on what kind of printer you have, you might need different options, but I have a rear loading tray where I can just change the settings of my printer and I don't have to worry about the paper bending and I don't have to worry about it jamming or anything like that and the pictures come out perfectly and you can use it over and over again because you do have double sided tape on there. Now you could skip all of that and just print out on cardstock paper if you'd like and you'd have the same thing. So there are three different options on how to make those and now I'm going to share with you guys what I like to use journaling cards for. For our next do-it-yourself project, I'm going to show you guys how I make journaling cards into page markers and they're great for not only ring binders or ring planners but also for coiled planners as well. So I'm going to show you how to make both of those with scrapbook paper or you can make them with journaling cards like I just showed you how to make, you can buy them, you can print them out or use scrapbook paper and you could even use some of your favorite sticky notes as well because we're going to laminate them. So I love this set that I got right here because it matches my planner and I'm just going to grab some laminating papers or their pouches and I'm going to insert a couple of them just because I don't like wasting laminating paper because it could be quite pricey depending where you find it but I'm just going to go ahead and laminate them through this machine that I got at Walmart for $20. $20 and next we are going to use twine or ribbon or 
yarn, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to make a tassel. So I'm going to cut off a little section so that I can tie it all together. So depending on how big you want your tassel, but I say give it about 10 inches. And then we are going to weave the rest of it back and forth. And there are different ways you could do this. This was kind of the harder way that I did it, trying to measure it on one hand. I also laid it down and then just weaved it back and forth. This is going to eliminate the process of it making it take any longer I guess but this is a lot easier to do and I just went back and forth and I did want it to be very dense so I, I made sure that it was a lot and then I also cut off an extra piece which I forgot to cut off in the beginning and then we are going to center it right in the middle and we're gonna grab that first string that I showed you guys I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half and then I'm going to put the rest of the yarn and make sure that I tie a knot right in the center of it all then you're going to bend all of the yarn so that it's nice and even and we're going to add another string around it and we're going to tie that nice and secure so that the tassels don't go all over the place. So that is the second string that I was going to cut off and I completely forgot. But you want to make sure that you tie it at least once or twice around and then make sure that you cut off any access so it looks nice and neat. Now we're going to make the top even by cutting all of that off and you just want to make sure that it looks nice and clean afterwards. So it did take me a while for them to look even but it was really nice and pretty at the end and there isn't much fraying or anything like that. Now you're going to take your laminated journaling card and you are going to punch a hole right in the middle. You don't want it to be too far on top but you do want it to be nice and secure or the string isn't going to pull on it too much and since it is laminated it's very secure and then you are just going to loop the string through or you can tie it whichever you'd like and you have your very own little tassel so now I'm going to go ahead and make the poles on there so that I can attach it to my three ring binder and I just put a clip together so it's nice and even when I punch it through and you can go ahead and just leave it punched like that or if you'd like, you can cut some slits on it so you don't have to go back and forth and having to open the planner over and over again, which I find a lot easier. And it's very nice and secure in there, which is something that I really like. And it just looks so pretty. I just can't get over it. I like it because it doesn't stick out of my planner since it is a zipper binder. Or planner, I keep calling it binder. <laughs> but it's just a lot easier and I can zip it in. Now, if you have a coiled planner like the Erin Condren one, you can get the coil clips that she sells on her website and you could easily just attach it on there and go ahead and just use that or you can make your own like I've done in the past tutorial that I did. Um, I have a link down below for you guys where I made my own coil clips. It was super inexpensive and I just made that myself. You could also do that as well. You guys saw in my last DIY planner tutorial of supplies how I made these very simple paper clips. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make them even cuter. So we're going to go ahead and grab some ribbon again and the best part is that you probably already have some laying around anyways. And I'm going to use gold paper clips just because they're really pretty. I found them at Staples. It was really hard for me to find them but I found them at Staples. And I'm going to just measure some string. I measured it to be about 12 to 14 inches depending how big you want them to be. And and then I'm just going to grab all different sizes of ribbon or yarn and this is how I'm going to weave it through. So I'm going to place the ribbon right smack dab in the middle of the paper clip then I'm going to grab as many of the ribbon as I could. If not you can go and do it one by one but we're just going to loop it through one side and then we're going to grab the other side and loop it from behind as well as I did the other one and then you're just going to tug them all through and it's really simple to do. You just have to have a little bit patience because sometimes it's hard for them to go on all together and then I'm just going to secure it with some glue from like a hot glue gun and they are going to stay secure all the time. I loosened up the ribbon before and then I went ahead and added the glue and then tugged at it so that it goes in and through each one. And then when you are putting the paper clips together, just remember to lay them exactly how you want them to appear, like this one that I did with the polka dots, and you are done. They are absolutely fabulous and glamorous and I just love them so much. So let's move on to another way to make really cute paper clips and these are bow paper clips which I love the look that they give your planner. I just think it's super, super pretty and they're really easy to make. I feel like there's different ways to make them and I found this to be the easiest for me. 
This is the best projects to do with scrap paper that you don't know what to do with. So I like to measure mine to be 1 inch by 7 inches wide and that's just a really good size that I like. You can make them bigger or smaller depending on how big you want them. And the first thing we're going to do is bend it in half and then we're going to bend it in half again but not really because we're going to leave a little bit of the paper sticking out so that it gives you guidelines of where to cut the paper. So while it's bent in half I'm just going to make the clippings of where the bow is going to dip in the front if that makes any sense but you just want them to look nice and even and then you're going to go ahead and cut again where the second marking is and you want to make it evenly on the other side as well then you are going to go ahead and cut almost like a triangle at the bottom where it opens up and that's going to be like the little flags at the end of the bow you should end up with something that looks like this. Now you're going to grab a pencil or a pen, something that's going to help you bend the bow so that you don't have any harsh creases on there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and bend the other sides and I'm going to put it through a paper clip. I decided to go with gold again. And you are just going to put them evenly on top and then we're going to secure that with glue on each side. I noticed that I just needed a tiny little dot of glue for each one. You don't want to overdo it with glue either because then it's going to look kind of sloppy. But it's going to stay on there nice and secure. You don't have to add any additional paper, scrap paper or anything like that. And now I'm just going to reach for some really cute stickers that I actually got from you guys. And I'm just going to put it in the center because I think it looks really cute with the sticker on there. And you can add like rhinestones or anything fabulous that you can think of and if you guys aren't happy with like the size of the flags on the side you can make them smaller if you'd like and this is how it all turned out I think they're so adorable I love all of these projects and I hope they were simple enough for you guys to follow and uh, keep sending me those pictures by using the hashtag planning with Belinda so I can keep liking and commenting on all of them I love seeing your ideas and I will also be hosting a giveaway on the planner goodies that I made in this video and others as well with stickers and washi tapes coming from me. And they will be on my blog, BelindaSaline.com, so make sure to head on over there to enter the contest. Muchos besos. Mwah! share with you guys my makeup collection I know you guys have been requesting it for a very long time and the reason why it took me so long is because